Hi, my name is Mark and today I'd like to show you how you can create service desk tickets from the UI and via the API. So let's take a look at each of these use cases. So first, let's take a look at how you can create a service desk ticket from the UI. Get to your issues page in your desired project and hit the new issue button. And then add a title and a description. Now we can change the type of the issue and we can make this using the convert to ticket quick action. You can see that this quick action needs an additional argument, which is the email address of the external participant. In this example, I will use user@example.com. The GitLab support bot also added an internal comment to let you know that who was the original author of this issue. Please note that GitLab will not send a thank you service desk email. Um, because you can use that quick action at any time in the life cycle of an issue. Um, so if you want to notify that person, you need to add a new public comment, and this will then be sent out as a service desk email. I would recommend reloading the page so you really see like the fresh view of a service desk issue. And this also shows you the email address here that is created from the GitLab support board, which is like the normal behavior. Um, that is confidential by default and you also see this little note here that says that your external author will be notified of public comments so when i add this comment this will send out a service desk email and they can then basically reply to that um, email email and then this will pop up as a new comment from the external author and that's it that's your service desk ticket which you can now use as basically a normal service desk issue the second use case is creating a service desk ticket via the GitLab API. So we will use the same quick action as before, but do this via the API. I prepared a very simple script for this, and we will shortly see this in action. But before, I basically want to catch up on the requirements. So we need your project ID, and we need a project level access token. Let's head over to the settings and get the project ID. So in the general settings, you will find this input and this is your project ID. The next part is getting an access token. In the settings, head over to the access token um, link and there you will see this project access token page and add a new token. Here, please give it a descriptive name, set an expir expiration date, select at least the reporter role um, or the developer role and grant the API scope. Hit create project access token and copy that token to some safe location. So we would always recommend using environment variables for your, um, for your application, but that's totally up to you. Just be sure you don't expose this access token in your front end. So once we have everything together, let's take a look at this script. So it's a Ruby script. It's quite verbose because I basically want to show you the concept behind it. We will use um, the issues API and the notes API. And in this case, you would add your project ID at this um, in this place and your project access token in this place. And this will be the email address of the external author of this um, particular issue. So that's a very manual way in your normal application you would probably collect information from a form or from somewhere else. See this as an inspiration or a proof of concept. The first step is to create an issue. So in this case, the query params will be the title and the description. Obviously, you could also add other things. The description is also a very nice place to add labels using quick actions or using other quick actions. Then construct the issues API URL and then basically do the request. This will return an ID that you need to store somewhere so you can later add notes to this particular issue. Next is changing the type to a service desk ticket. We will basically add a comment. This comment will only have the content slash convert to ticket and then the email address of the external participant who will then be the author. We will construct query parents um, having a body and then basically use the notes API and send the request. So that's basically it. Please keep in mind, like we saw in, in the UI demonstration, using that quick action, we don't send any thank you service desk email because you can use this quick action at any place in the lifecycle of an issue. So I would personally recommend that you add directly add another comment or another note to the issue that basically tells the person, hey, we actually 
created your ticket. So let's see this in action. So I will run the script with um, my project ID and my token. And in the end, we should see another service desk ticket in the list view. So we are back at our service desk list view. And this is the one we created before. And this is the one that we created using the API. And you can also see this has um, the label API attached to it, which was added to the description before. And you can see it has two comments. So let's take a look at it. It basically has what we added to the script. There's this internal node from the support board that will always be added. This is like the initial comment to say hello to the external participant. So this is your service test ticket created via the API. So that's it for today. Um, we'd love to hear your feedback um, in the GitLab issue tracker or in the comments below. So take care and see you soon.